Hey again guys, this is just another quick haul video. This is some stuff that I got from Winners uh, mostly, and that is uh, the Canadian version of TJ Maxx. Um, and last time I went in there, they actually had a lot of Clarence stuff. I've never seen that there before. So I picked up a few things. Um, they had these eyeshadow sets. They came in sets of three. So I got this uh, set and it comes with three shadow, one shadows. One is called Hot Chocolate, which looks like that. I'll swatch all of these in a second. Um, the next one, ooh, this looks pretty. It's called uh, Perfect Plum. Okay. And the last one just looks black, and it's called Totally Black. So I'll do a quick swatch of them. So this is the Hot Chocolate, which totally looks like my kind of brown. I'm going to try this next time I do my makeup. And this one is the Perfect Plum. These are really nice. You know, I I think I have maybe a couple of Clarins quads, but I've never bought the single shadows. They look really nice and pigmented. There's the black one. So that's those. Um, they also had little sets of lipsticks. They came in threes like that. And... I'll show you a couple of the colors. This one's got two of the same color in it. And one of them is 706, which is that one there. I don't know if that's gonna be my color or not. We'll, we'll check it out. The other one is 711, which is a really nice coral color. This looks a lot darker on my monitor, my screen here, than it is in real life. So though that was those. And they had a set of, um, it came with one gloss and one lipstick. And this lipstick is number 710, which looks like that. I'll do a quick swatch of that. So that one looks kind of sheer. I think the other ones are more pigmented, the ones that came in the set of three. Let me just swatch one of them and see here. I'm going to swatch one of the, these coral ones. It's on the bottom. Hmm. Doesn't look great in the swatches. Hopefully I'll look better when I upload it. Okay, and then with the one lipstick came this gloss, which is kind of a cool color. It's kind of like pink with uh, some blue undertones in it. I'll swatch that. Right there. Also, almost done here. Um, this is one of those, I think it's one of those lip changing color glosses. It's called uh, Magic Color Instant Gloss. And I think it's supposed to change color on your lips. So I'll have to give that a try and see. I tried another one. I think it was a Smashbox, I think one. And I wasn't crazy about that. So we'll, we'll see about this one. Okay, um, also they had a quad that I've been wanting to get and it was the, what's it called again, uh, Forest and it came like that and these are the colors, they look really pretty, I've seen a couple of faces of the day on Makeup Alley with using this and I'm particularly interested in this kind of a rust color here. So that's one, there's a couple of greens, and then kind of a peachy beige color. You can see that one. So anyway, that was all of the Clarins stuff that I got. I also got this pink mascara and I tried it today. Um, this is from Rimmel, it's the Max Volume Flash. And we don't have this in Canada yet that I've seen and I ordered it from um, the UK, from eBay. So, um, Okay, I guess. I, I, I'll give it a couple more days. I, I tend to like mascaras a little bit better if they're dried out, you know, if, or if you've used them for a week or so. So I'll wait to tell you what I think about that. But I found something that I fell in love with. Just kind of one of those products that as soon as you see it, you just know that it's, you know, something special to you. And it's the Lee Swatche Eye Shine Pencil in Smoky Brown. 
And what I want wanted this for, it's kind of a taupey, let me see if I can get a good swatch. Where can I put it? Let's try over here. It's kind of a taupey, smoky, shimmery brown. Oh, that's not gonna do it justice. It is so pretty. And I wanted it for the waterline because it's just kind of a softer, let me zoom in and I'll try to put it in on there and see if you can see. Let's go to this eye. Okay, and I just put it in the waterline right here. And it doesn't leave a lot of color, but it's just so nice and shimmery and um, it's not too dark. It's just the perfect taupey, whoops, I guess I should zoom back out here. It's just the perfect taupey brown color for waterline. So, oh, I wish that would show up properly. There, that's kind of more like it. Oops. Anyway, so that was just another quick haul, guys. I, I'm going to try to do some tutorial videos, and um, I just can't edit videos yet, and it's not that I'm too lazy to do it or I haven't tried to learn how to do it. I bought a program, and I've tried, and every time I get into the programs, my computer freezes, so I think I'm going to take my computer in and try to get it fixed up. It's been running really slow and everything lately, too, so um, I'm going to try to do some makeup tutorials um, coming up in the new year. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.